Welcome back to another video by Beast Mode Bricks. This is set 70612. This is the Green Ninja Mech Dragon. It's rated for ages 8 to 14 and have 544 pieces. First we'll start with the dragon then move on to the minifigs. This is a pretty cool dragon all around and one of my favorite sets in the series and out of the series. But first we'll start with the jaw which can drop all the way down which can create some cool stuff for stop motion. And also, it can close and pick up a minifig. Next is the neck, first neck joint, which can swivel or turn. Next is the main neck joint, which is connected by two, so you can't spin it or go down past this point because the design. But then you can also lift it up all the way to make it look like it's trying to pick something up. And then if we move down the body, they have this cool spinal effect moving all the way down through the tail. But then the tail can swivel right here. But the main play feature, in my opinion, would be right here. The tail swivel. This could easily knock a minifig off. Then if we move back up, one of the cool features about this that most of the dragons don't have is the robotic feature. Now this... Uh, from my experience, it's a little bit hard to get. First, you have to turn these flips up. Then you have to move the dragon up like this, the arms, on both sides. Then you have to open these flaps on both sides. And then move the arms forward more to even get these jets up. I think that was kind of a design flaw. But still, that's not taken away from the value of the set, in my opinion. It kind of add more to it because it can look like it's swooping through the air. And then right here, on both sides, you have a couple of stud shooters. And if you are new to LEGO and don't know how these work, you just press the little trigger and the studs will shoot out. But then, when it's in air mode, it can create a cool effect by just looking like it's flying around. That adds play value and it can appeal to people of the Ninjago line or like the Chinese because it's the only like kind of Chinese re religion dragon. Now let's move on to the minifigures. This is the first minifig, Lloyd Garmadon. He have the new tassel piece for some of the weapons, and he have the two-piece mask, just like all the other ninjas. He have two facial expressions, the angry look and the happy look. He have his symbol on the back of his suit, and I guess that represents the green ninja, or because he doesn't really have an element, kind of like all the other ninjas. He can control them all. Then he have the new suit for the movie, which is kind of an abbreviation of all the other ninjas. I do wish the belt kind of went a little bit farther than just the hip piece. He has some printing on the bottom of the legs in the front, but he have none on the back. Now let's move on to the next minifig. Next we have Sensei Wu, which have the new skirt piece. Which is not my favorite because it is kind of hard to get on if you aren't used to working with them. Because it will leave a gap no matter what you do. Then he have the somewhat new beard. This had been a few sets but it's different from his old one. It's more plasticky instead of rubbery like the others. Now if we take off his hat and his stick you can kind of see his facial expression a little better. There's nothing below the beard besides the mouth. He have the white eyebrows just like the one in the TV show. Then he have this printing right here and a few lines on the torso. But there is nothing below the skirt but the little sandals that you can see without the skirt. Then if we turn it around, he have his symbol on the back, which is the same as Lloyd's. I don't exactly get that, but I they'll probably explain that in the movie. At least I hope. Now let's move on to the next minifigure. The next minifigure, the first bad guy, which you get two in the set, is Charlie. He have the new fish piece in the lighter color, which is my favorite fish so far because it looked more like a fish. And then he have kind of a, uh, the Ultra Agents series that have been discontinued now, but it kind of remind me of that. And then he has some knee pads on the bottom and the print which one all the way down the legs, which I really like. Then if we turn around, he still have some gear on the back. And then he had this small little hat from the city's sets, which were first released. And to show he's kind of a bad guy. And then he has some scars on his face, which is pretty cool. Now let's move on to the final minifigure and my favorite in the set. The final minifigure you get is Lord Garmadon. He's one of my favorite in the sets besides Lloyd. 
when you first build him, he gets two swords. But he get the mega weapon later in the build, which I will show you in a second. But now let's take the weapons away and show you himself. He has some print on the front. The print on the bottom piece is kind of covered up. But the print up here is completely visible and really cool. I think it really adds to the build. Then you have this robe, which unless you take some time, they will keep popping up. Then he have a new hat helmet, which I favor, besides the old one. But if you didn't get the one from the Stone Army, in the little $10 Spinjitzu training set, you can pick that up. Then on the back, he have almost no print besides on the bottom piece, which is the same print from Series 1 when Garmadon was just a two-armed man. Then that's basically all about Lord Garmadon himself. But if you add the Mega Weapon, it add a lot to it. And the problem with the Mega Weapon is it's really top-heavy. So you have to position it just right or it will keep falling down and will not look like he's using it. This is what happens the majority of the time when I use it unless I connect this part right here to his hat. And then it looks like it's going down but it looks like he have a toilet on his head. So now this is the end of this video. Let me bring back out the mech for one final look. Thank you for watching the Green Ninja Mech Review. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep an eye out for some more of their reviews. They're in building now and they'll be coming out later this week. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video.